Once more, we're facing another lighter note of subject matter. Hello, guys. Welcome. Or if you've already seen my channel before, welcome back. I am the Philadelphia Hoovian, and for this video, we're going to be talking about something that, for a long time, I was given a recommendation to go and see, or at least buy and purchase and see, and I... Took a while for me to get around to it, but then I did get around to it. I've seen it many times after getting around to it, and now I'm finally, finally doing a video on it. And yes, we're talking of that TV show that once was a thing. Yes, it was a thing back in the 90s called As Time Goes By. Here it is. As time goes by, the glare of the lightning behind us really does <laughs> augment things. But there it is. As time goes by. Look at it. It's a TV show from the 90s starring Jeffrey Palmer and Judy Dench as the leads. And the overall concept behind this is that Jeffrey Palmer and Judy... Sorry, I was going to say Juliet. I don't know why I was about to say Juliet. Only other time I saw Judy Dench do Shakespeare was Henry V by Kenneth Branagh. So... I don't know why I thought the Juliet when I know all I saw him play was Madame Quickly. Mistress Quickly. Sorry. Tangent. That was a super, super tangent there. My bad. We're back. Okay. So, Jeffrey Palmer plays a character named Lionel, and Judy Dench plays a woman named Jean. And they used to be complete sweethearts during that time, like 30, 40 years ago, back during the time of the war, when Jeffrey Palmer's character, Lionel, fought in the war, or at least served in the army. And she was a nurse, I believe. Yeah, Jean's character, Judy Dench, was a nurse, and they fell madly in love. This was a passionate romance. So why are they not together in the very beginning? Well, it starts out with Lionel. He is a divorced Gaban who used to be a coffee maker, a coffee planter in Kenya, and he's an older man now. It's been many, 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 many years, like at least like three to four decades, since he saw Judy Dench's character, Jean. And he is writing a book, his memoirs, called My Life in Kenya. But he needs time or needs help writing it because he needs a secretary to write down or at least edit and go over things he's written. So he employs a secretarial service. Who is the head, who is the boss of this secretarial service? Jean, a.k.a. Judy Dench, his previous sweetheart from a whole lifetime ago. But he doesn't know this at first. Only reason he finds out is because they sent a secretary to prove to be not that great um, of a secretary for him. And so Jean's daughter, Judith, was sent to smooth things over and apologize. But then they find out when Lionel asks Judith out on a date, he goes to her home to pick her up. And Judith still lives with Jean, her mom. He goes and sits down because Judith is still getting ready, and as he sits down and waits, Jean is over there with her secretary, and they keep giving each other glances. And as this is happening, I was watching, I said, okay, okay, these two clearly know each other with this uncomfortable looking back and forth. They have clearly, clearly had sex before. Sorry, that was where my thought went, but hey, I was clearly not wrong. Because he goes on the date with Judith, Lionel goes on the date with Judith, and he turns out he was talking about her mom and asking about her mom all night. And eventually, Judith gets sick of this and says, why are you asking about my mother on a date? You keep on asking about my mother. Then we find out that not only were they very in love once, but he went off and he sent her a letter to show, and he mailed her a letter to give his address about where he, she could contact him. He thought she never responded. She thought he never sent the letter. Oh, no. It turns out he sent the letter, but it never got to her. Yeah, that happened. And so, eventually, Judith confronts him about this, saying, You, you jackass, you never sent my mother a letter. And he's like, What are you talking about? I did send her a letter. And Judith is like, Oh, goes to her mom and says, Mom, why did you lie? He did send you a letter. She's like, what? I never got a letter. And it's like, oh, crap. And then Jean goes to get um, to the hotel where Lionel's staying to get Lionel. And they eventually talk and they find out, yes, indeed, it simply is that he sent a letter and it got lost in the mail. And as Jean very well puts it, you couldn't have sent a second bloody letter. 
Like, she's like, you couldn't send a bloody second letter? For God's sakes, man, send a second letter. But he didn't. And so that romance of theirs, that passionate romance, faded into the wind. They both got married to separate people. Overall, overall her marriage was fine, but his was a rocky divorce where they just, him and his wife, had nothing in common. And so this show centers around their relationship getting back on track. And we see the long process, of course, to it getting back on track. First, it's the fact that he is a man who's getting his book published, and she's a secretarial service who is helping him with that matter. And But also, it's rekindling the romance they had. And what I liked about this, besides the obvious casting, which was amazing, and the obvious writing that was also amazing, was how showing how no matter what age you are, romance can make you awkward. Because it does. For Jean and Lionel, they m give each other mixed sing signals, sorry, mixed signals, miscommunication, or in their awkwardness to not sh look too forward or look too persistent in, per in pursuit and possessive. They Play, they back off and play it chill, even though they do want to be with each other. They also, you know, do what you do when you do want to be with someone, which is the opposite thing of wanting to be with someone. They act like they don't want to be with each other. You guys know how it is. You guys know how romance is super complicated. And that sh this show really shows that. But also... It shows how one is never too old to be romantic. This is a very good thing to do. Then we have Jeffrey Palmer and Dame Judi Dench. Jane, okay, these two are amazing together. Um, now, Judi Dench has been knighted. Has Jeffrey Palmer been knighted? I feel like he should be. And if those of you guys who think you don't know Jeffrey Palmer, you do know Jeffrey Palmer. Believe me, you've seen Jeffrey Palmer before. Don't act like you've never seen it before. Oh, I know. You've seen Jeffrey Palm Palmer before. Yes, you have. Stop acting like you've never seen Jeffrey before. You totally have. Yes, But guys, has he been knighted at some point? I feel like at the long time he's been acting, he should have been knighted at some point, but I gotta make sure. And one fun story about Jeffrey Palmer with this is that Jeffrey, okay, I was talking about this to my co-worker um, when I was working, and he said, as time goes by, whoa. You're going that old school? And I'm like, wait, what? He's like, yes. That's even old for me. I'm like, wow, okay, buddy. But he said to me, he's like, oh, yeah, poor Jeffrey Palmer is totally dead. I said, wait, wait, what, what, Jeffrey's dead? He's like, yeah, Jeffrey's dead. I said, really? Jeffrey's dead? Then he went on Google and looked up. He was like, oh, my bad. I totally lied to you. Jeffrey Palmer is totally still alive. He's 93. <laughs> yeah, so I had a... False alarm there, but as of doing this video, is Jeffrey still alive? Can someone just verify for me, just to make sure? Is Jeffrey still alive? I hope so. I've always liked Jeffrey Palmer. But Jeffrey Palmer and Judy Dench have a lot of chemistry together. It's very natural, very organic. But also, Judith, the actress who plays her daughter, is also very amazing. The secretary to Jean is amazing. And the publisher, who is publishing Lionel's book, also amazing actor. All of these supporting actors are amazing actors. But what I also love about this um, show is how it shows how you can write a romance lasting over a long set of seasons and still keep it entertaining. Because nowadays, I do not think we always know how to write romance really well. Romance becomes very boring really quickly or feels hollow very quickly. This show shows you how to write a romance that lasts a few, quite a great deal of episodes and keep it fresh. Keep it from becoming stale. And I really like that. This is a show that I did learn from as a writer and if you are a writer who wants to write romance I'd recommend you write it sorry not writing watching as time goes by sorry yes those who are new to new to my channel I get tongue tied very easily and I don't do second takes because I'm just that darn lazy so yes when it comes to this sh show I believe it's just it's a good show to watch to learn something if you are a romantic writer because it shows you how to write a romance and keep it going for many episodes or many many books and keep things feeling very fresh and what helps is a nice set of good supporting characters again Jean's daughter Judith is very good actress is wonderful the secretaries who work under her are wonderful and again the publisher is very good you got a good set of supporting characters that really works and a bit of nice good humor is in there as well 
I remember this one time where Lionel went to a book, um, went to a lecture to give a speech about his book, and apparently his publisher gave the wrong impression. People thought he shot alien, he shot elephants, and then you see them bouncing a plastic elephant around in protest against him. Poor Lionel. And when Judith began to have feelings for Lionel, and the publisher, the young man, began to have feelings for Jean, so you had where a set of episodes where these younger people had complete attractions to these older set of people. It's very funny. And something else that was funny for me, help clarify, for those people who are watching this who are from Great Britain, there was one episode where Lionel had to get his picture done, and it was the picture booth was being hogged up by two younger people, and Lionel Bang said, get out of there and just stop snogging, because the people were clearly flirting. And they get out, and he says, snogging, the guy who was in the booth with a girl was like, snogging is not even a word anymore. It's called foreplay. Guys, is that true? Is, is snogging no longer a word it, that's used for kissing in Great Britain? I'm confused! I'm really confused! Also, when it comes to that particular part, the younger guy was turning to Lionel. So Lionel, Lionel is like 40 years older than this guy. And the guy says to Lionel, that's the problem with your generation. You guys were all about sex. Sex, sex. It's about foreplay. And I, I can't help but wonder if there was veracity to that, with the older generation being more sexually confident or more sexually aware and be willing to become very sexual, as opposed to the younger generation who might be more about romanticizing or be even more um, chaste or more like <laughs> puritanical in their views. Because I can't help but wonder about that, because I know here in America, a, while, a long time ago, we had the sexual rev revolution. But I know that over in Great Britain, there was one time also a sexual revolution. But I don't know about that time period very well. But I found that very fascinating that the younger guy was talking to the older guy about how his generation was all about sex. I just, I, help me out here, help me out, I'm confused. But at the same time, I do want clarity on this. But either way, I very much loved the parts that I did watch of As Time Goes By. What I have in my collection is the first two seasons. So I did not see later seasons, I just saw the first two. But the first two seasons were very well done. Again, I said they're very educational for those of us who are want to write romance. Because this teaches you how to write a romance and keep it going for a long time. So yes, this is my video on As Time Goes By. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. I know I did. And thank you guys for being awesome and for watching. Has you seen? Have you indeed seen As Time Goes By? Or have you not? If you have not, I hope this video kind of piqued your interest and made you interested in watching it. It's good to go back and do a gander at. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you again very soon. Bye guys. Peace out. <laughs> Bye guys.